And uh, now let's go listen in to uh, Adam Schiff, uh, who is addressing his supporters there, leading in the race and the likely winner. And before I begin, I want to acknowledge my opponent, Steve Garvey. I know it's not easy to be a candidate for any office. It's hard on you, it's hard on your loved ones, and I wish him well. And I join him in celebrating the Dodgers' amazing win over the Yankees. Tonight, I am especially grateful to the millions of Californians who put their faith in me. I also find myself thinking about Senator Dianne Feinstein, who was a friend and mentor, and as long as I knew her, she was a giant in the U.S. Senate. Nobody will be able to fill Diane's immense shoes, but her memory will be my guide. And tonight, I am so humbled to be your next United States Senator. Thank you, California. I will spend every day trying to repay the trust that you have placed in me by serving this Golden State with all of my heart and soul. Thank you, California. Tonight is going to be a very long night. We won't know the result of every race. We will need to be patient. And whatever the result of the presidential race, we know there will be serious challenges facing the state of California and the country. Regardless of the outcome, regardless of the way people may have voted, I want to make one thing clear. As your senator, I am committed to standing up for every Californian. I am committed to taking on the big fights to protect our freedoms and to protect our democracy. California will continue to be at the forefront of progress, the bulwark of democracy, the champion of innovation, and the protector of our rights and freedoms. We are a big, beautiful, diverse, and generous state. We look out for each other. We stand up for each other. We extend our hands to lift up each other. We celebrate and appreciate our different backgrounds and cultures. I've seen it firsthand. From the first day I launched this campaign to the visits I've made to nearly every corner of the Golden State. From meeting with local leaders in the border community of Calexico to seeing the restoration of Redwoods north of Willits, I've met the most amazing people all across California. I've listened to your concerns, I've heard your fears, I've shared your hopes, and imagined the future that you want to see for yourselves and for your children. And because of this, every day I woke up energized and hopeful. In Bakersfield, I met with entrepreneurs who turned their passion into successful small businesses that have lifted up their communities. In Salinas, I heard from farm workers who toiled in the fields from sunrise to sundown, rain or shine, to ensure that families across the country had food on their tables. In Oakland, I felt the joy and energy of an early morning service at the Allen Temple Baptist Church. In Merced, I sat down with college students and heard about the careers they were building for themselves. In Lakewood, I saw firsthand the hard and rewarding labor of child care providers. I witnessed their patience, their kindness, and the love that they bring to their work. Our state has its struggles, like every state, but none are insurmountable because we are the golden state and we get big things done. And my promise to you is that I'm going to deliver on day one, week one, year one, and keep on delivering for this amazing state. Because together there is no challenge that we cannot overcome. We leave no community behind. We do not stop, we do not rest, until all our citizens have a safe place to live, clean water to drink, clean air to breathe, safe neighborhoods to raise their children, good hospitals, clinics, and health care, and the best public schools in the world. In pursuit 
of this dream for all our people. I will not rest, California. In the Senate, I will be a champion and voice for all Californians, whether you voted for me or not, whether you live in the big city or a small county, whether you grew up here or came to America searching for a better life. We are gonna build more affordable housing so that you aren't forced to choose between your rent and putting food on the table. We are going to ensure that our fellow neighbors do not have to sleep on the street. We are gonna help hardworking families by lowering costs. We are gonna fight tooth and nail to protect abortion access and defend democracy and our freedoms. We are going to bring resources and jobs back to the Golden State to create opportunity for all Californians. We're going to fight on behalf of our dream workers, our farm workers, our immigrant family, families, so they no longer have to live in the shadows. We are going to protect our planet, fight climate change, and bring good paying green jobs here to California. It is a big task, I know. But we can do it because we are going to do it together. I am determined to fight every single day on behalf of this great state and its great people. And I am so thankful for your trust and your support. And I can't wait to do this job with you together. I want to thank my incredible wife, Eve, and yes, we are Adam and Eve. My kids, Lexi and Eli. Lexi's boyfriend, Eric, gets a shout out. My brother, Daniel, and his wife, Amy. My brother, David, and his family. My nieces and my nephews, and of course, the one the world revolves around, baby Maya. I could not have done this without your endless love and support, and it's so wonderful to get to celebrate with you tonight. Eve, I don't know where to begin, but this Adam would be lost without this Eve. I love you and I'm grateful to you for your strength and love. Lexi and Eli, being your dad is my favorite job in the world. I love you and I am so proud of you. And I also want to acknowledge my mother and father, Cheryl and Ed Schiff. While they're no longer with us, I wouldn't be standing here, but for their love and guidance and support. My father lived to be 96, he passed earlier this year, and I so wish he could be here with us tonight. Dad, give mom a hug, and tell her I hope she's still not upset with me for not being a doctor. I also want to thank every volunteer and supporter who made calls, sent texts, knock on doors, and chipped in a few bucks because your hard work not only made this center race possible, but you are gonna deliver the House of Representative Majority to Hakeem Jeffries tonight. And I wanna thank Nancy Pelosi, the greatest of all time, the most incredible speaker in our history for her friendship, her mentorship, her leadership, there was no one who stood for in the breach defending our democracy than Nancy Pelosi, and I thank you. We set out to build the largest grassroots campaign in California history, and I think we hit the mark. To my wonderful staff, I thank you. You are all dedicated public servants who have committed countless hours, nights, weekends to this effort, and this victory is also yours. To my wonderful wonderful constituents in the 30th Congressional District who have supported me for over 25 years. I cannot thank you enough for your confidence and the honor of representing you. I hope that I have served you well and made you proud. And to my new constituents all over the state, whether you voted for me or not, I am committed to being a champion for every Californian in every corner of this wonderful state. California, I thank you for your trust. I am grateful to serve as your U.S. Senator. Now, let's get to work. Thank you, California. Thank you, everyone. God bless this state and country. Thank you so much.
All right, you just heard from Senate-elect Adam Schiff, uh, the projected winner of the California Senate race against Steve Garvey, who was addressing his supporters in Rancho Mirage. Let's listen live. Washington, as your next elected senator, I would go to all 99 offices, stick out my hand, and say, I want to work with you for the best interest of your state and my state in this country. And I hope Adam Schiff will have heard this. No, let's, please. And that he will somehow, some way realize that maybe at this point in his life, that maybe Steve Garvey gave him the idea that he can make a difference. Now, that's why, that's why we live this life, is to give others inspiration. We didn't follow the path of pandering or rhetoric-filled lists of unachievable policies and unworkable positions. We took a stand on what impacted Californians. And I will still fight with this new platform that we've created, that we will move forward with, that will significantly reduce crime in our streets, that will affect our economy in inflation, that will make sure that our border is secure and that we vet those coming into this country. and the homelessness. You know, you have told me you want to know what's happening in America and around the world. So we went to the border and we went from the corner in Tijuana and San Diego to Hakumba and, and saw the illegal immigrants coming across and challenging our U.S. border. And then we went to the inner cities of San Diego and Los Angeles and Sacramento. And when you get down on a knee and you look at these homeless people, they don't care whether you're a Democrat or Republican. They just look you in the eye and you can see their souls and at the lowest part in their lives, they need somebody to, to help them, to care about them. Yeah, but you know. And over $25 billion was spent on the homeless from 2020 to now. And we increased homelessness 15% last year and that's unconscionable. And I will continue to fight to find out where that money went to so that our homeless will have a place where they can go. Okay, you just heard Senate-elect Adam Schiff before, and uh, he was addressing his supporters in downtown L.A. And here uh, we've been listening in to Steve Garvey as he addresses his supporters. Of course, Adam Schiff winning the U.S. Senate seat um, by one point, almost five million votes at 60 percent. Uh, and Steve Garvey there uh, giving his concession speech to his supporters in Rancho Mirage.